I would cry if a pie went in my face. I wouldn't care, I'd just eat it. <laughs> Ovi, not Ovi. Oh my God, sorry. Hi, I'm China. And I'm Millie. And we're here today at Cosmopolitan to give our take on this week's Love Island. I love Maura. I know she's funny too. If I was Francesca, I'd say, can I have one now? Just to prove a point. Yeah, I'd stop you enough. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> Like, I just think that's a little bit disrespectful. I would probably say something though if I was Francesca. If yeah, I felt uncomfortable, I'd just say it. I think, you know, like Maura and Curtis, I think they're actually quite cute together. I think they could work. I think it's nice to see them kind of come together. There's definitely like some kind of they're sexual like chemistry. They're opposite as well, and they say opposite attracts. Yeah. So they could work. I mean, I'm really interested to see what goes on with them. Yeah. I think what happened in the last episode that I watched, I think they shared a kiss or something. Well, Did you watch it? I think they've done a bit more now in bed. Have they? I think so. Have they actually? I oh my god, so. they didn't out. say what, but I think they've done a, a bit more than kiss. Oh, they were grinding, grinding. on each other. Yeah, but. Is that. What you know, is that? I know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you is. still grind? I know. <laughs> What did he say? Call me? Yeah. Did he actually give his number? I don't know, that's what I mean. No. He just said call me. No, but I think he wrote his number down. Right. Oh, okay. I think how Belle kind of dealt with it was good because she said it's okay for in here, but she don't know if that's if he's gonna do that on the outside. So if he was to do that on the outside, then I would be fuming. But I do feel like she's like laying down the law. She seems like she don't really put up with much like crap, which is good. She goes in. Yeah, she did, didn't mm. she? What he said was was that the tipping point. What did he say? I think he said that Anna's like the best kisser in the villa or something. Like, if someone said that to me and I was dating them, I'd be like, are you serious? Do you know what? I think he's a little bit of a playboy. And what people don't really see is an hour of 24 hours. So in them 24 hours, something else might have made her a bit more angry. I went in as Casa Moore and so did you as well. Yeah. So we kind of got like the brunt of it obviously going to Casa Moore and then going into the main villa. And my situation obviously was... Yeah was and you was obviously your Jack's ex. Yeah. So that must have been a little bit awkward. I mean I wouldn't have wanted to go with one yeah. of my exes. But I feel like when you're going in from Casa Moore with someone that like, is already coupled up and they have been in a relationship for like four weeks, it is so hard to like you don't know of what you're gonna... bond with the girls as well and like to get to know the girls. I mean, after a while, everyone kind of just like gets over it and moves on, and yeah, you get all get along. Yeah, I actually love this challenge. I really want to throw a pie in someone's face. Oh. I've never done it. Oh, that's bright in the face. <gasps> the hands. Oh, that's so funny. I always do that when I'm in a vlog, and I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh yeah, he deserved that hand though. I would cry if a pie went in my face. They take it very well. I wouldn't care. I'd just eat it. <laughs> what sort of pie do you think it is? Nice one, cream pie, I don't know. Charles really annoying. I watched this one on catch up so I know who went before. It's all over Instagram. I was like, oh. Michael was always gonna get saved. Yeah. He 100% should have left. If he liked Joanna, yeah. he should have left, hands down. He obviously didn't like her. Standing there when you've got when you're waiting to see who's going is honestly the worst feeling. He cried when Joanna left. And two days later he's back on our part. <laughs> I know. It doesn't surprise me though. I think he was blunt with Amber because deep down he still really liked her. So that's kind of how he went about it, was being blunt and standoffish. I am rooting for him and Amber though. I would want them to win. I don't think Michael deserves it to be honest. And I do think Michael obviously still has feelings for her, but whether it will last, I'm not convinced. I don't know. I, w I really like Amber, so it would be nice yeah. for her to couple up with him, because be, that would be lovely, but... Joanna said it, actually. She said, I don't believe you can just switch off your feelings like that. And she's gone two days later, and he likes her again. So she was right. Mm. It sounds like he's talking to a dog. Sit. He can be quite rude sometimes. Do you know what I like, though? How Ovi said, um, he took him to the side and he said, would, if you heard someone speak to your mum or your sister like that, would you allow that? And he was like, no. Yeah. So, oh, I love him. To be honest, he might have liked Joanna and then he's liked Amber as well. And sometimes, you can, it is possible yeah. to fancy two people at once. I just think he needs to make his mind up. Like, they haven't even finished the conversation and he's walking away. Um, Bless Amber, the poor girl. She's probably her head's all over the place in there. Especially when she's had to see them kissing and stuff. He's acting like she's done something bad when really he is in the wrong. So I'd see where she's coming from from that. I'd think, don't talk to me like that. So, bye. That's what I'm saying. She's I feel like right. when you're in there as well, like everyone knows everything. So when yeah. you've got your relationship, like even if you've got had like a little argument, everyone gets involved. Did you go into the hideaway? 
Yeah, only because I was ill. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so that gave me medicine, that's the only time. I didn't go in there for anything exciting, no, unfortunately. <laughs> and then that's when Michael oh, says he likes her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Of course. Work. It's always the way though, isn't it? Like Michael's obviously seeing that she's interested. Seeing that she's interested in someone else and it's like, always want what you can't have. That um Greg speaks really nicely of her. He says how pretty she is, how like Yeah, she's treats really nice. it like he's a gentleman. Like that's how and guys Michael's should treat like her. looking at him like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he's getting a bit jealous. Yeah, you can jealous. tell he's definitely a little mm. bit of a green eye monster. You do I I can Sorry. imagine a green eye monster. It's like when you get jealous, no? I've never heard of that. That's the saying, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't start saying like <laughs> random things. Yeah, hun, it's the saying. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I like Chris. Oh. I thought it was a bit annoying at first, but I really like him. He's just so like. He's getting ovid. I know. Oh, the new girl. What's her name? India. India. Oh, yeah, everyone. <laughs> everyone's been saying that apparently I look like her, but I don't think I do. I, at all. There is a resemblance. Ovi is like. I think he is so nice though. He's his just really sweet and he's a nice. Yeah, he seems lovely. I think he deserves to find a good girl. I want him to win. I want everyone to win. <laughs> him and Amber would be the ideal. Ovi is like Ovi is funny. He has Ovi. got perfect. Ovi, not Ovi. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Ovi. Ovi. <laughs> oh my god. Have I been saying Ovi the whole time? I'm no. actually dead if I have. No, you okay. haven't. How he's respectful to women. I just think oh, it just takes my heart. Yeah, it's lovely. guys need to take a leaf out of his book yes. and be respectful. Yes, please do. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo's YouTube channel for more videos like this.